All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. Let's take a look at our subscription goal. We are sitting at almost 9,300. We need 700 more subs to hit that 10K goal to give that $1,000 giveaway. And then we have 12K subs coming up to send a couple people to some games of their choice. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Dennis Burns is at the top. We have Kellen on this week. He's doing a great job so far, but that is the leaderboard right now. If you see if you see your guys' name, reach out to us. Bears Profit plays at gmail.com or on Twitter, Bears Profit at Bears Profit. And we need to get you guys set up. So we can give you guys your picks out for the next couple of weeks. If you see your name, make sure you reach out. Also, if you want to become a member on our YouTube channel, we're going to be giving away $50 weekly to our members on YouTube. We have 15 to 20 right now. So if you become a member for just $4.99 a month, you have a chance to win $50 weekly. We're going to be doing that on our live show. We're going to put everybody on the wheel. We're going to spin it and give away $50 a week. So make sure you guys come check that out. Only $4.99 a month. Very cheap over there. And our plays are actually better over there as well. So guys, is going to do it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get some NBA picks and props for Friday, December 8th, slate of games. Let's take a look at that leaderboard. Trey, starts off. Yeah, guys, I'm excited to get off here and watch my game. I gave out the under 230 and a half total points in the Pelicans versus Lakers game. By the time you watch this video, you will know that my king, my goat, LeBron James, is in the in-season tournament championship, and I'll be celebrating with joy. The final score probably like 108 to 103, so uh, the under is going to hit there. I like the under. I don't like King James. I, I went 2-1 and one today. The Pacers played early. They won the game outright, so we got them plus 4.5, and, and on the money line is the two wins. I really thought the 254.5 points was going to hit, but they they started off too slow in the first half, and they missed that by a couple points. So we'll take the 2-1 and one day. And we'll move on. Nate, who'd you have tonight? Taylor, one of the GOATs. Um, taking the under 230 in the Lakers game. I feel like it'll be a defensive battle. And like you said, I, not my GOAT or my king, but I think the GOAT does get it done. I like it. I like it. All right, let's move on to tomorrow. Trey, I'll have you start us off. Uh, I'm getting tired of this King James slander, but I'm going to be attacking <laughs> this uh, Houston Rockets at Denver Nuggets game. And I'm very excited to watch this game. One team is very much trash on the road, and the other team – has quite possibly the best home court advantage in the NBA. Give me the Nuggets here, minus eight and a half in this game. The Rockets, they come this game with an 0-8 record on the road this season. That's because they simply cannot put the ball in the basket on the road because in those eight games, they've gotten outscored by an average of 119 to 108. So losing those road games by an average of double digits. Meanwhile, this Nuggets team, they are 9-0 and at home this season. They've just been running teams off the court because in those nine games, they've been winning – by an average of 122 to 111. So one team at home is averaging 122 points. The other team on the road is averaging 108. One team is undefeated 9-0 and at home. The other team is defeated 0-8 on the road. Those are all the trends I need to know. Plus, with Jamal Murray finally getting healthy and knocking off the rust, paired with the back-to-back -back MVP of Jokic, I, I just really love this bet. Give me the Nuggets here, minus 8.5 versus the Rockets. Yeah, Trey, I like that one as well, and I like Joker on his uh, PRA, if you guys know those trends. But for my play today, I'm going to be looking at the Toronto Raptors going up against the Charlotte Hornets. I'm going to take the Raptors minus four and a half going on the road in this game. The Hornets have really been struggling without their leader, LaMelo Ball, in the lineup. They have lost four of their last five games, not covering the spread in any of those games as well. They're coming off a loss of the Bulls, but they only put up 100 points, and while the Raptors haven't been great playing great basketball either, I think their defense is going to destroy this Charlotte Hornets team. The Hornets don't play defense no matter who they play. And the Raptors, they aren't the best scoring team in the NBA, but they're going to do whatever they want against this Hornets team. Everything's going to be easier for them on offense. The Raptors, over the last five games, they've gone against the Heat, the Knicks, the Nets, the Cavaliers. Four of the five games they've played have been against really good defenses. All of those teams have great defenses. I think they're going to get – this is a get-right spot for them. They're going to explode for 120-plus points on the offensive side of the ball. Also, in the last two games at Charlotte, they've won by 20-plus points in both the games. Give me the Raptors here, minus four and a half on the road to play. Nate, what do you like? Uh, I'm about to do something new. I'm going to prove that I'm a real fan. What I'm going to do is parlay both of those picks. I like them way too much to try to pick between them. So I'm going to pick both of those as my picks. I feel like as far as the Raptors, they just coming off a loss. Even though Pascal Siakam and OG Ananobi had a good game, I watched two of their best players, Dennis Schroeder and Scotty Barnes, kind of struggle from the field and struggle at doing what they do. So I feel like they're going to come back with a vengeance against a weak Hornets team that allowed most – like the most rebounding to any team in the league. I just feel like they're just going to be too physical for them. And as far as the Nuggets, they're also coming off a loss to the Clippers. I feel like – I and Jokic struggled in that game as well too. So I feel like they're going to come home and do what they do best. Both away teams struggle in away games, losing, like I think, the last three of their five by double digits or more. 
So, I mean, I like both of those spots. I'm going to take them as my two picks. I do need to catch up on my record. So, let's go. I'm going with the GOATs. I love it. A 2-0 and o play for you. I, I love that. We're going to sweep the board for 100% tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Trey, let's go over to the player props. How do you start us off? Hey, I love it. Thinking outside the box, the two-pick play to kind of make up the ground there. But uh, yesterday, I gave out Anthony Davis over 42 and a half PRAs versus the Pelicans. The game has not tipped off like I just said. Excited to get off here and watch the game. I know I did pick the under, but uh, at the end of the day, AD is going to dominate his former team. Yeah, and I went one and I had Giannis Antetokounmpo over 31 and a half points. I'm assuming he finished with like 40. I It was like 35 midway through the fourth quarter, and it was a really good game towards the stretch. So he probably had close to 40, but we did cash that one. Over 31 and a half points. Nate, who'd you have tonight? I have Valid Trudis over 12 and a half rebounds and assists. I'm seeing the line move. It's going to positive money. I mean, that just means more money in my pocket. I'm not losing confidence. I love the confidence there. Trey, let's go over to the player props for today. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with Draymond Green to go over his RAs versus the Thunder. I just checked and it just dropped at over 13 and a half at plus 100. And like Nate said, I love that we're getting that good money there with that pick not going to scare me off because i really love this over for draymond in this game he's going to make plays all over the court but i do think he's going to do it more with his passing and grabbing the boards than scoring points here in this game that's because this thunder team is just terrible defensively and great offensively which works awesomely for this over here because draymond he's gonna have to do his thing throughout this game for the warriors to keep up with the thunder and the thunder they're going to allow the warriors to do that because okc they allow the third most total rebounds per game and they allow the most offensive rebounds per game. And historically, Draymond, he just cooks up the Thunder as well because over his last five games versus OKC, Draymond, he's averaging 6.8 rebounds and seven assists per game, and which does come out to 13.8 RAs, which is over this number. And I expect him to finish with a great stat line in this game, maybe even flirt with a triple-double. So give me Draymond Green to go over his 13.5 RAs versus the Thunder. I do love that play. The Warriors play through him, so I love that play there for you, Trey. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at Desmond Bain once again to go over his total points against the Timberwolves. If it's not broke, I'm not going to fix it. So give me Desmond Bain one more time to go over his points. This number is probably going to come out at 25 and a half because that's what it's been at all week long. And Desmond Bain over the last three games for the Memphis Grizzlies has been the best player on the floor for either side. With Jaron Jackson Jr. back and the addition of Derrick Rose in that lineup, Desmond Bain has been able to find a ton of open looks. He shot an average of 22.6 times per game over the last three games, scoring an average of 35.33 points in those games. His shot production from three-point range is still super high, shooting six-plus threes in five consecutive games, making three-plus threes in all of those games. And the last game against the Pistons, he scored 49 total points, and only 12 of those points, guys, came from deep. So Desmond Bain, he's getting to the line, dribble-driving more. I love his effort right now. This this number's going to be way too low at 25-and-a-half. I'm going to hammer him again to go over his total points as my play. Nate, what do you like tomorrow night? I like that pick. I told you last time I'm going to tell it. It made me money. I'll probably do it again. But for my pick, uh, I'm going going with Cade Cunningham over 20 and a half points and or six and a half assists. I kind of like the six and a half assists, but I'm going to go with the 20 and a half points. Probably just parlay both of them. Coming off of a bash of the game, I expect him to bounce back as he's done all season. He's not had a poor performance in two back-to-back games except for once this season. I'm expecting him now that Bojan Bogdanovic is returning to find more space on the floor to either play well because with Bojan returning into the lineup and finding his groove early, he may be the person that the Magic focus on and they're really good at defending wings better than they are at defending guards. So I feel like either he'll play off of Bojan or he'll just have a game and be able to dish it out to Bojan so both of them can eat well. I don't know if they're going to win, but I do know they're going to put up a good fight because, you know, I can't trust the Pistons anymore. Uh, I expect Cade to take advantage and create open looks for both of them. Of the last point guards or guards that played against the Magic, they've all pretty much gone over this line or their lines respectively. Garland had 37 points and assists with nine assists. Rozier had 31 points and assists with nine assists. Reggie Jackson had 23 points and assists with nine assists. Dinwiddie had 25 points and assists, and Schroeder had 25 points and assists. So I'm pretty confident that Cade Cunningham is a better scorer and facilitator than all of them. He's coming off of back-to-back games with double digits assists since Bojan's been back. So with that being said, I think I'm going to take both of those picks for my play. Give me Cade Cunningham over 20 and a half points and assists and over six and a half assists for sure. Slam that. 
I like both of those plays, and I love the trends you brought. I mean, if Reggie Jackson's getting that number, Kate Cunningham's getting that number as well. Let's look at the graphic trade we got out of here. Oh, yes, Ro. Good old Reggie Jackson. But I'm going to go with the Denver Nuggets minus eight and a half in this game versus the Rockets. I expect the Nuggets to just dominate them here in this game. And I'm also going with Draymond Green. It dropped that over 13 and a half R raise versus the Thunder at plus money. I'm going to be all over that. I'm going to be enjoying a very profitable Friday night heading into the weekend. Yep, and I'm going with Desmond Bain over his total points, whatever it comes out at. He's been the best player on the on the court over the last three or four games. And I'm going to take the Raptors minus four and a half, big bounce back spot here. I think the offense is going to produce a lot of points in this game against a really bad Hornets team. But guys, that's going to do it for NBA Plays and Props for Friday, December 8th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 